I'm Michael Fluster, weed specialist with Virginia Cooperative Extension. When planting a cover crop, having a plan to terminate it is very important uh, and something you should really consider before selecting which species you want to plant. Something like a cereal rye cover crop uh, can be easily terminated with Roundup or a glyphosate product, uh, as well as roller crimping. Uh, but things such as rapeseed are very difficult to terminate if we allow them to get this size and biomass to them. Uh, it's something that growers really need to consider before they, they plant that crop. There are several ways we can terminate a, a cover crop. Uh, you can use a plow you know, or disc and, and terminate it through tillage. We can mow it. We can roller crimp it uh, and roll that down. And the crimping action along the stem uh, physically crushes those uh, vascular bundles. And then the, the cover crop dies from that. Uh, or we could use herbicides, use a chemical method to terminate it. Each of those, of course, has its uh, pros and cons. Uh, for weed suppression, we really need the residue left on the surface. So something like mowing or tillage is not a, not a very good option. Uh, rolling, roller crimping, uh, and herbicides uh, are a good option for that. A lot of growers are interested in planting multiple species of cover crops, and in particular, a a, a grass cover crop along with a legume. And when you do that the dynamics of biomass production are going to be dependent upon the seeding rates of the two different cover crops. A mixture complicates termination of the cover crop. The, each of the species can be at different uh, growth stages. One might be flowering while one might be still be in vegetative growth, and that can make things uh, a little bit more complicated to get the timing right. Growth stage is an important consideration to make when using any termination method, but particularly so for roller crimping. Uh, when cereal rye, for example, is, is at the anthesis stage or, or just prior just at flowering, uh, that's really the best time to use a roller crimper on it. it. Should get the best results. Before or after that uh, are not as good. Before uh, you can tend to get some regrowth of the cover crop. After it might have set viable seed, and that can become a weed problem in future crops. So for weed suppression, we really want to maximize biomass. For cereal rye, that you can see here, that occurs at the anthesis stage. For most cover crops, maximum biomass is going to occur uh, at or just prior to flowering. Allowing a cover crop to flower uh, can produce viable seed, but also it enters a reproductive stage, which can be more difficult to terminate, whether that's mechanically or chemically. The biggest factor in the cover crop that determines how much weed suppression we're going to get is the, uh, the amount of biomass here. The more the biomass, uh, the better, up until a point. What we found is we've optimized weed suppression somewhere about to 7,000 to 8,000 pounds of biomass. After you get the biomass, the composition of the cover crop uh, can make a difference. If you have a legume in the cover crop mixture, uh, that adds nitrogen to it and the cover crop will degrade faster and this residue layer that's suppressing weeds will go away quicker. If you just have cereal rye, you, you tend to have a high carbon to nitrogen ratio, which means this is going to stick around longer. After that, uh, one thing we're looking at uh, that we don't have a clear picture of is, is do we need to roll the cover crop residue down to create this mat, or can we kind of leave it standing between the planting rows uh, and help weed suppression here? Down on the ground, it tends to decompose slightly faster than when it's up in the air. It does create a little bit thicker barrier for the weed seeds to have to emerge through. Uh, but what we found as far as, as, as if you get sufficient biomass, so far, we've seen that it doesn't really matter whether you leave it left standing or whether you roll it down, which is a real benefit to producers because there's flexibility in the system. Termination of a cover crop earlier when it's smaller uh, it tends to be a little bit easier with, with herbicides especially, but we don't get that biomass accumulation we need to have substantial weed suppression. So really, we need to maximize that biomass, and again, that's terminating it at the flowering stage or just prior to that. Thank you.